What's up everyone and welcome back to Nexus. It kind of sucks that money is the most important thing you need in life. And people spend their lives working tirelessly just to get a tiny bit of freedom and security in their lives. While some people are lucky and get rich, others miss that opportunity and wind up throwing something that could have made them a millionaire into the trash and sometimes never being able to retrieve it. Watch this video to find out the top 10 most expensive things accidentally thrown away. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get new content similar to this every day. Also make sure to comment down below letting us know which was your favorite. And for this video, let's see if we can hit the golden like button which is a thousand likes, so make sure to drop a like down below. Number 10. I have to admit it, it made me pretty sad to hear about this first one. An elderly lady living in Sussex in the United Kingdom made the news when her daughter contacted the local garbage man to let them know her mother had accidentally thrown away 12,000 pounds in bundles of cash. It was her life savings and it somehow got taken out with the rest of the trash, with the entire stash being kept just in an old plastic shopping bag. The local landfill site was closed for nearly an hour as the workers there looked for the bag full of money. But it was to no avail because the bag had been taken six days earlier and at that point was buried under hundreds of tons of garbage. I can't imagine what the old lady must be going through having lost all that money in such a ridiculous error. Number 9. In 2003, an artist living in Soho, Manhattan named Clinton Hill died, and it was down to the removal company of another man named Nick DeMola to clear out his apartment and take away all the rubbish. Seeing some stuff in a barrel he thought was kind of cool, DeMola told his colleagues to take it back to the warehouse instead of throwing it out, and it sat there for five years until somebody decided to open it and take a look inside. And in there was a treasure trove of ancient Mayan artifacts. He did some research and found out that they were the real thing and were appraised at being worth 16.5,000. Some of the items in the barrel could have even been 2,500 years old, and they were nearly just thrown out in the trash and then lost forever in storage. Demola says he's going to give the pieces to a museum so that other people can appreciate them. Number 8 The eighth item on our list is a lot like the tenth, only way more extreme. If you thought throwing out 12,000 pounds with the garbage was bad, one couple in Australia accidentally threw out $50,000 in the form of family heirlooms and gold jewelry. It happened when the husband was told to take out the trash and mistook their stash for just more garbage, because he'd split the gold up into three different plastic bags in an effort to confuse potential robbers. In fairness, they never did get robbed, so who's to say this plan wasn't working? But after calling up the local council to try and organize an excavation in the landfill, they told him it was more or less impossible and would pose a large safety risk, and he was going to have to accept that they lost their expensive investment forever. Number 7. Another husband and wife pair now, but this time one who found something valuable in the trash rather than putting something in the trash to begin with. When one woman's old violin broke, her husband considered himself pretty lucky that he managed to find a mint conditioned violin in the garbage. On a whim, the Texas resident brought it to an antiques roadshow to get it appraised and found out that it was worth around $50,000. This was because the violin was made by a man named Giuseppe Pregazzini, an incredibly famous and talented violin maker who died in 1957 making this violin at least more than 50 years old. Nobody knows what the owner is going to do now, whether he's going to give it to his wife or sell it and keep the money. He could probably buy her a brand new violin with the cash though, and still have a lot left over to get all kinds of cool stuff. Number 6. I bet you never thought old car tires could be worth a fortune. And I guess you'd be right in thinking that because it wasn't the tire that made the next find unique. In 2009, three men were working at cleaning up the garbage dumped alongside a highway in Indiana when they found something pretty awesome in an abandoned old tire just lying at the side of the road. Stuffed inside, they recovered $100,000 in dollar bills ranging from $5 to $100. When a sniffer dog was brought onto the scene, it detected the scent of narcotics on the bills, leading to police that it was either drug money either lost accidentally or really not hidden too well. The three men were commended on their professionalism for contacting the police when they found the money and not just splitting it amongst themselves. Though splitting it may have made them a target for drug dealers looking to reclaim their missing profits. Number 5. Imagine spending $1,100 and then making 500 times that in profit on what you bought. That's exactly what happened to one person who bought a storage unit at an auction in California in 2011. They bought the unit for the incredibly low price of $1,100 and found inside a hoard of centuries old gold pirate doubloons, worth now an estimated $500,000. These doubloons were found in a big blue plastic trunk and it was so heavy it took three people to carry it out and put it in a pickup truck. But it might not be all it seems as people are speculating that it's a fake story concocted to gain A&E storage war some publicity, as it was the auctioneers from the show Dan and Laura Dotson who auctioned off this unit. But according to major news outlets, this whole thing has been fact-checked and verified.
that's absolutely correct. We do it every day. And what did uh, this lucky buyer pay? This lucky buyer bought two units, one for $600 and one for $1,100. They belong to the same folks. I understand that uh, the folks that owned it, um, the person had died. And <clears throat> so this lucky buyer shows up at one of our sales and he pays $600 for one unit, yeah. $1,100 for the other unit, <clears throat> and he gets himself a great big blue Rubbermaid tote full of uh, coin. A Rubbermaid made... treasure hunt. Number four. Today, pollution is a problem that's on everybody's lips. And America is a country with a pretty bad track record when it comes to environmental issues. When some energy workers were cleaning up an old dumping site eight years ago, they stumbled across something incredibly dangerous which had just been thrown out. A sample of plutonium-239, which had been used in the Manhattan Project in 1945 when America was developing nuclear weapons to be used against Japan and later to spark the Cold War. It was the exact same type of isotope used in the bomb dropped on Nagasaki, and it's incredibly dangerous and was just thrown out with the trash and is from the oldest batch of this isotope in existence. The only other surviving sample is kept in the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C., and while the sample isn't large enough to wipe out a city, it could have been used by terrorists to build an effective dirty bomb. Number 3 Tom Lingenfelter belongs to the Heritage Collector Society and spends a lot of his time trying to find treasures at flea markets. It was at one of these where he found an incredibly rare and historic copy of probably the most important document in American history, the Declaration of Independence. Aside from the real declaration kept in the Capitol building in Washington, there are only 24 copies of it which survived. While the one found by Lingenfelter has yet to be appraised, a different and even better preserved one was found and bought in 1991 for only $4. When they realized what it was, it went on sale and was expected to bring in anything between $800,000 to a million. Considering nobody knows exactly how many copies of the declaration there are, there's still the possibility of more of them being found. So if you're ever at a flea market, be sure to keep your eye open. Printed from the original, which caused the damage to the original. No one ever said that anywhere before, ever. Tom says he took the copy in the old wooden frame it came into the curator at Independence Hall where another anesthetic copy resides. Oh, he put them on the table and I, I yeah, he brought theirs in and laid it next to mine and I had this rush came through me, I thought, Wow. Look at all the signatures. So for the first time, Tom's copy from the original declaration in the... Number two. When a hoard of diamonds worth approximately five million went mysteriously missing from a jewelry store in New York, nobody could find out who was responsible for the crime. A few months later, it came to light that the workers in the store had accidentally put the bags of diamonds outside with the rest of the trash. And then a security guard came along and thought that day was his lucky day. So he took the diamonds for himself. He thought it was a perfect crime, a heist without actually having to do a heist, but he was captured on CCTV and picked up by the cops, charged with possession of stolen property and grand larceny. Remarkably, he actually managed to sell some of the diamonds back to the original store, and the most valuable diamond he had was worth over three million all on its own. Number one. When nobody won the January 9th Powerball lottery, Mark and Shannon Budessa drove out all the way from Las Vegas to a shop called Rosie's Den in Arizona to get a ticket for the $915 million lottery. While waiting in line, Shannon was filling out a ticket with numbers, but tore up the ticket because she didn't want to hold the line up and then went for the quick pick online numbers instead. They afterwards claimed that the ticket she tore up had all of the winning numbers on it, and they had missed out on almost winning a billion dollars. For 10 days afterwards, they couldn't do anything because they were so full of regret, until apparently realizing that winning the money may have changed their lives for the worse. However, there's no proof that she really did have the winning ticket since it got thrown out. So who knows if this is true and it's not just something they made up. That was our list of the top 10 most expensive things accidentally thrown away. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit subscribe so you never miss a video in the future. And hit the like button too so we hit the golden like of a thousand. Thanks for watching guys. Peace!